welcome back to Bridge North Tunnel. Now this video takes place on Halloween night. When we got there, Brian and Nathan scared the Wiggins out of me, but luckily Shell managed to escape being frightened at all. When we got inside the tunnel, we set about getting Brian and Nathan's equipment set up so we can get started with the investigation. When we did, we split up into two teams. Brian and Shell headed deeper into the tunnel whilst me and Nathan walked back in the direction of the entrance. Our main aim on this night was to assist Brian and Nathan, so our footage is fairly limited. However, Brian and Nathan were recording all the time, but they did run into some unusual problems. Whilst Brian was with Shell, his camera stopped working, and eventually his battery was drained. We couldn't get it to work again. Whilst me and Nathan continued back up towards the entrance of the tunnel, constantly hearing noises. Taps and shuffling, metal sounds, voices behind us, movement, all sorts. Unfortunately, for some reason, selective files on Brian's camera had been corrupted when it came to analysis and were unrecoverable, which means a large portion of his evidence of what was going on was lost. This is strange because not every file on this SD card was corrupted, only certain ones. Coincidentally, these seem to be the files that had the activity on them, which I find strange. It's not unheard of though to have camera malfunctions and equipment malfunctions, file corruptions and whatnot. But Nathan having told me that they'd never had such malfunctions on their equipment ever before, even having been to the famous ancient Ram Inn, They've never had this activity on their equipment before. So, even more strange. So unfortunately I can't reference this material. But that's not the only thing to have happened that's strange. The following audio clip is from later on in the night. I was on my own. Brian and Nathan were down at the deep end of the tunnel with the blocked off wall and were doing their own tests, their own experiments, with the pendulum, with Savannah, their haunted doll. Shell was back up with me, although I had walked away from her to do a short solo to see what I could get. See what you make of this. Right. Who are you? How is it you wish me to help? Who's attempting to attach themselves to me? Brian and Nathan Wright, when they built this tunnel, they destroyed your resting place, your grave. Getting some movement noises up ahead. I don't know if you 
second guys can pick that up. I'm all alone. This is your chance to talk to me. A very, very strange recording indeed. The actual bit I want you to listen to is the voice at the beginning. Um, and then to listen to the rest of the footage and contrast it. The second voice you hear is actually Shell. It has been identified as Shell actually saying, Can you throw something? She was attempting to do her own solo investigation in order to get some results. If you compare the second and then the third instance of the voice, which is Shell, I don't believe they sound similar to the first. The strange part is, is that Brian and Nathan are actually talking in this excerpt, and you can't really clearly hear them. Not until the end, when they get closer. But on to the next clip. The next clip is really quite strange. This is when we had all regrouped and we were down at the back end of the tunnel where it had been ripped up. Savannah resting against the wall and the pendulum going, we were attempting to get some results. And a noise came from behind us further up the tunnel. It sounded like one of the cameras going off, but we weren't sure, so I volunteered to investigate. But as I did, on my own, an intense feeling as if somebody was around me began to manifest. We all, as paranormal investigators, get these feelings, but as time went by, it became more intense and started to concern me. So I radioed it in to describe what was going on to the guys. And something very, very strange happened. Admittedly, I was using Echo Box at the time, which used out random snippets of voices, which I did let Brian and Nathan in on, but they were adamant that it wasn't the Echo Box, that it was indeed a woman's voice. Take a listen and see what you think. Do you want us to come down to you? K2, 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 I'm Savannah. Oh, Jesus. K2. We've just got the K2 going up on Savannah. K2's going crazy now. Thank you for that. Now that I'm separated from you, start asking questions about me. Okay, we'll do. We've got the pendulum's gone off and the K2's going off continually on. I just got a female voice coming through on the um, on the walkie-talkie then. Yeah, I heard that. I just got a female voice coming through on the. I just got a female voice coming through on the. Leave, why? So far. 
Who are you? Nathan seems to think that someone's attaching to me. Is that true? Touching themselves to me then. Now we'll be able to hear you clearer now. Here's your chance to talk to us. Who? Who wants to speak? What do you want to say? I'm familiar. Who are you? Who are you that's just spoken? Just so you understand guys, I've got five out of six channels running, and this is running on shuffle. So this is randomizing things that are coming out. So any words that you do hear are more likely to be a spirit communicator. Possibly. 
but I thought it was by the man. Who knows me by name? Let's put it another way. Who are you that knows me by name? dog entered this tunnel. Mm -hmm. Just for your knowledge folks, in the distance we can hear footsteps going off. Who's moving back there? Once again, has a big grey dog entered the tunnel? Yeah. Did you get that? Did you hear that? Or was that something else? You cold? Yeah. Hmm. Temperature is dropping, which is weird because I've not been cold all night. Getting later there, so. Yeah. So it is, um, has actually gone midnight. So. I don't know if I caught that properly, but so I swear somebody said, don't freeze. Yeah, could have been thinking about it, yeah. Who's trying to look out for us? Who's trying to keep us from freezing? Thank you. It's nice to know that you are concerned for us. We appreciate that. That was a girl. That was a young girl. That's the first time I've heard that. Who's the young girl that's here? Is there a young girl spirit trapped here? Help. Is she the one that needs help? If I were to try and help, who would try and stop me? guys that all you're getting is the uh, echo box but I will give you another little walk in a minute
It'll be interesting to see if that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to stop this for a second, guys, to communicate with Brian and Nathan. Just a note for you guys, um, whilst we're sitting here doing a bit of Ecovox on us on our own, it almost sounded like your one of your cameras made like a zoom in, zoom out noise. Um, I'm just wondering if you're going to pick that up at some point when you do analysis. Are they, they are they both still rolling? They're both still rolling. That's really peculiar. They shouldn't make any noise at all. Cheers, let us know. No worries. I think one of them is on charge. On charge? That one. Because the power... Literally, because I've, I've just gone off on my own, and before I did so, I asked anybody if, they, if this was their chance to make themselves known. It's strange because we did a, did a pendulum session and the, the thing was going absolutely crazy. And uh, it, 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 the questions we asked, it seemed like somebody was buried here and the construction... When, when I asked if the construction destroyed their grave, the thing started going absolutely crazy. It would make a lot of sense um, because they weren't too like concerned with that in them days. They didn't really stop to think about it. They just got on with it. So it'd make a lot of sense. Sorry, I missed that. There's a massive beam of light that went straight across the wall there. Uh, yeah, I think I kind of picked one up up here as well. Do be aware it has gone midnight, so shit is going to kick off. It's going to kick off now. So come on then, I'm going to end this in a minute and see what you've given me. Your friend, you or your friends are down there with Brian and Nathan, giving them a good fright. Is it my turn? Let's see. So I'm going to listen to this back and see what I've got. There we go. So, here's your chance to talk to me one on one. My name's Chris. Let's start with your name.
friends are down there with Brian and Nathan, giving them a good fright. Is it my turn? Right. Who are you? How is it you wish me to help? Who's attempting to attach themselves to me? Are Brian and Nathan right when they built this tunnel that destroyed your resting place, your grave? some movement noises up ahead. I don't know if you can, guys can pick that up. I'm all alone. This is your chance to talk to me. Sorry, that was me blowing. Now, first thing you need to do is ascertain what's yes, what's no. So ask a question that you know the answer is yes to. For example, am I female? Is my name Shell? Right, okay. And it, 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 might, it might bob, it might swing, it might go in circles, it might go left and right. Okay, am I a female? That's <laughs> really loud. Your name. Can get some sort of yes or no answer out of it. Do you want to ascertain what's yes and no? Yeah. Um, is my name Shell? Are we in the tunnel? <laughs> Better noise than <laughs> Classic. Do I have I was just thinking maybe. Yeah, because none of them like to speak to me. You're the lucky one. <laughs> I was going to say, use that light to make it be so bright. This is the one thing we have had. Just whack it down your finger and just hold your hand, flat that and just let it. Just let it do what it's got to do. Okay, step forward. Am I male? Are we in a tunnel right now? Ooh, I feel pressure on it. Can you feel it tug? Yeah. To me, it felt like it sort of got and almost tugged. Footsteps. 
talk about the graves and the bodies. So Nathan says you were telling me about graves, disturbed graves. Is this true? Is this why you're so upset? I feel a force, but it's not very strong. It does make your arm ache after a while, doesn't it? Mm. That's why I, I tend to ask sort of four or five questions and stop. Literally, before it was, it was, I mean, it was like, you can see on the camera, my hand is absolutely. Yeah. Well, it still doesn't like physically hold it anyway. Let's change tact. Let's change to the person. Brian saw hovering around me on camera. Are you still here? Does it feel warmer again now? It's warmer than what it was a minute ago. We had a spot a minute ago where I was stood Real just cold literally air. right in the middle, just like a block of ice. There's a point down the tunnel where the wall sticks out and as we were walking up here I said to Chris that as you walk past that it's like you're walking through a do invisible doorway yeah. and it's just suddenly like a load of degrees warmer at this end. So it was really responded? freezing over why down there. Why responded and I turned around and said that the spirits from the... From the, from, the gra from the graves, it was, you know, the force of it, it was really scary. Just wonder something. Do I have a guardian angel with me now? Someone here protecting me. I think the force that was pulling me has gone. We'll have to see the footage out just so you can see, because that was pretty incredible. But also, it is sort of the space of about five, when you probably do this radio, about five, sort of ten minutes. I think it was really, really picked up. Yeah. Before that, it was quite, another thing that happened is I rested the K2 meter on Savannah, Savannah's lap. And, um, what was it at the point? It was after I saw a face behind you. It was after you said you saw a face behind me and started freaking out. And I turned to my left, it was sort of stood probably just there. You said and you saw a light on the sea. It sort of went probably halfway up on the K2. There was <laughs> nothing there that would set the K2 off. It's just a there's, porcelain doll, you know what I mean? There is, there's, there's nothing in this tunnel that would set this, the, the K2 off. <coughs> but obviously the camera's set way back from Savannah. Yeah. It's, Gen generally, batteries and signal needs to be in close proximity, like on the phone. Yeah. You see it happening really, really close proximity to set it off. Yeah. Because it's more to do with the EMS capability to detect the electromagnetic field. It's being very good. Seeing if the signal to travel and have to be a stupidly powerful signal. Yeah. The phone's internet, internet speed signal, because it is just that powerful, because of how much data it has to carry. Yeah. It is that powerful. So Still here, let make the device go off again. It is possible to, for it to go off if the if the EMF sensor is uh, a fair distance, but then again it has to be a stupid power signal, so it's very rare for it to happen. Yeah. yeah. So it's and it's whilst we've got all our phones on airplane mode all turned off, the thing mm -hmm. is just covering the yeah. but it's not the only one. I mean strangely I did for some reason, I did last last time because I thought, you know, we weren't getting any. We weren't but even on airplane mode. I get some sort of emergency signal again because you do. Yeah. Um, so that's the back wall of the tunnel, guys. As far as we can go. It's almost. I mean, it's it's, it's more Hollywood that makes you think something would come through, but. If there's nothing there for them to manipulate, yeah, yeah. logically there'd be nothing for them to say because they, they, they can't generate things.
Am I a male? Move the pendulum and let me know. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Seriously, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I know it's, exactly it's, what you're it's saying. completely flat. Okay. So I'll ascertain that's yes. Am I a female? Let's go in a second. Motion, I don't know. It's exactly it's like the that. motion has definitely changed. Let's go in You can see it looks like it's doing clockwise. I've asked you this a few times, and so I'm going to ask you again. Are you buried in this railway tunnel? Are you buried in this tunnel? Were there graves above this tunnel? Spirits that remain here, are they all from those graves? Is it just the female that haunts here? That's changed again. That's slowed right down. Keep, keep it's going around in a circle. Hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just make sure my hand's on camera as well. It's like it's going um, clockwise, so anti-clockwise. It's done that the whole time. Well, as you can see, we tried different things. Like I said, we don't have a lot of footage as we spent most of our time assisting Brian and Nathan. What time we did spend on our own, me and Shell, we tried a number of things, obviously Ghost Box being one of them, but as we all know, radios and whatnot don't work in a tunnel but we thought we'd give it a try to see if a voice would come through which would irrefutably prove paranormal activity as no radio stations were coming through. Unfortunately it didn't work so we turned to the Echovox to see what responses we could get. We all know the controversy about paranormal investigating and using apps on the phone. I do understand but I do like to use the apps to give a sense of contrast to see if we can match up results from the phone apps to the actual pieces of paranormal equipment to see if they're any use and if they can actually work in the field or work at all. That's it. That's all we've got. It's not an impressive video but you'll be able to see some of the stuff that went on during the night and some of the stuff that happened. As I'm sure you're aware, you've been going through some of the photos, I'm sure you've noticed that a few of them are a bit strange. But just in case you missed them, here are those photos again that I want you to look at and tell me what you see. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.